the Vazirani Akinosi nerve block. Nerves anesthetized, the inferior alveolar, incisive, mental, lingual, mylohyoid. Areas anesthetized, the mandibular teeth to the midline, the body of the mandible and the inferior portion of the ramus, the buccal mucoperiosteum and mucous membrane in front of the mental foramen, anterior two-thirds of the tongue and floor of the oral cavity, the lingual nerve, and the lingual soft tissues and periosteum, lingual nerve. Our technique, we'll be using a 25 gauge long needle. The area of insertion is the soft tissue overlying the medial lingual border of the mandibular ramus directly adjacent to the maxillary tuberosity at the height of the mucogingival junction adjacent to the maxillary third molar. Target area, Soft tissue on the medial lingual border of the ramus in the region of the inferior alveolar, lingual, and mylohyoid nerves as they run inferiorly from the foramen ovale toward the mandibular foramen. Landmarks, the mucogingival junction of the maxillary third or second molar, the maxillary tuberosity, and the coronoid notch on the mandibular ramus. Orientation of the bevel. The bevel must be orientated away from the bone of the mandibular ramus. Place your left index finger or thumb on the coronoid notch, reflecting the tissues of the medial aspect of the ramus laterally. Reflecting the soft tissues aids in visualization of the injection site and decreases trauma during needle insertion. Visualize landmarks the mucogingival junction of the maxillary third or second molar, the maxillary tuberosity. Prepare the tissues as normal by drawing with sterile gauze and applying topical as needed. Advance the needle 25 millimeters into tissue. Aspirate and if negative, deposit 1.5 to 1.8 milliliters over approximately 60 seconds.